Welcome to the Final Cut, my friends, the show that never ends. And I've got one for you today. Now, if you remember, for those of you who may have actually caught the Spoiler Room, our new live show, the Google Hangout that we record live every couple of weeks, we last week we talked about science fiction and how we don't see enough science fiction uh, films in the independent cinema. And on the heels of that discussion comes Manborg, now on video on demand. Now, Manborg is a send-up to cheesy 80s science fiction B-movies that graced many a VHS tape back in my day as a youngster, okay? <laughs> and we get the story of Manborg, who's this half-man, half-robot, all kick-ass weaponry, but unfortunately doesn't know how to use it. But that doesn't stop him from banding together with a group of adventurers who are going to try to take down Count Draculon, who is the leader of the demonic forces that now rule the Earth because the humans lost the demon human war okay <laughs> yeah i love that that storyline alone all right uh now the thing with manborg is if you, if you watch the trailer this thing delivers exactly what you see in the trailer okay there is no mystery there is no it taking itself more serious than it is this film knows exactly what it is is that send up to those cheesy sci-fi 80s films First off, let's talk about science fiction. Science fiction, you need a lot of special effects, and let me tell you, Manborg probably has more special effects scenes in it than Phantom Menace, but it was shot on a budget that wouldn't equal the amount of money spent on hair care products for Hayden Christensen, okay? And they do a more entertaining film than episode one. Why? Well, for one, you know you're going to get cheesy effects, and they play it up, but what surprised me about it was just the volume of special effects that were in this film and actually how well some of them were done. For instance, you have a lot of stop-motion animation with the monsters that you do get in here, as well as the robots. It's mixed with live action, and it's fairly mixed well. I like the little stop-motion monsters and robots and creatures that came up. Every so often you'd see a new one, you go, Wow, they made that? I wasn't expecting them to do that. So Plus is there for trying to do these stop-motion animation uh, uh, robots and monsters and succeeding, okay? Definitely felt very Ray Harryhausen-ish, okay? And, and then you get this group of people who look like they took every cliche character from those cheesy B-movies and put them all in one film. First off, you got Matthew Kennedy as Manborg, okay? The, the robot half-man half machine who doesn't know how to use his weapons you get uh, uh you got meredith sweeney in here playing mina the knife wielding badass chick who is the love interest of just about everyone but then again she's pretty much the token female so go figure and connor sweeney her brother in real life is also playing her brother in the film justice who would put keanu reeves to shame from the matrix with his accuracy of his blasters he's a crazy guy with a blasters who's very protective of his sister loved Justice. Justice is one of those standout characters. In fact, they all have their uh, scenes and their moments which make you just enjoy them so much. And let's not forget the badly dubbed uh, Ludwig Lee who plays number one man who prefers hand-to-hand -hand combat and it looks like he was ripped right out of Mortal Kombat and put in this film from his costuming to his mannerisms to the way he fights, okay? And then that's what's great, the fight scenes. It would kick into <laughs> like anime mode action for the fight scenes. I just loved that bit. Uh, you know, and then you got oh, Jeremy Gillespie who helped co-wrote it with the director Steven uh, Kostansky and, and he plays the Baron. And out of all these characters, especially the bad guys, I just, I love the Baron. Here's this guy in this really demonic, wicked makeup, which by the way, all the demonic practical effects, fantastic in this film, okay? Really well done. Even if the uh, uh, green screen wasn't so well done, the, the demon, demon makeup, fantastic, okay? But you, the, the Baron, <laughs> he's just this low-struck guy who's trying to get a date with Mina, and oh, every scene he's in, I just, it just made me smile and laugh. I loved that character. And we've even got Andrea Carney, a very beautiful lady, who plays Shadow Mega, who plays another kick-ass lady who uh, uh, it has more to her than meets the eye, if you will. Uh, Manborg is, is a fantastic send-up, okay? We've seen send-up films like this before, but none with as much honesty and heart and balls to the wall all in 
fun, okay? They knew what they were making, and they just went ahead and made it. And that's what I love about independent cinema, of people taking risks. And I'm glad they did take the risk with this, because it ended up being a very entertaining film. Now, you got to stay till the end credits to see what films are coming next from the production company, because they got a short film in there called Biocop, which... Uh, every scene had me rolling. If you've ever seen the old uh, revenge cop 80s type films that involve, you know, monsters or what, you, oh, you, I, I can't say any more about Biocop. See Man Board, stay till the end and watch Biocop as well. It's a very short trailer, trailer, and I loved that aspect. And I would love to see a movie of Biocop, really. Uh, but everything about this film is its honesty, its heart, and what they were trying to do. Let's just have fun with this cheesy 80s classic sci-fi film, and they do succeed with that. It's out on video on demand. Catch it. I think you can even get the disc now as well. I'll put in the information that I find down below. Check it out, folks. Brought to you by the same guys who brought to you Father's Day. And prepare yourself for just this crazy, zany, wild ride uh, that you don't know where it's going to take you, but you don't care. And that'll about do it for us at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.